Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. One more time. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Help us, Holy Spirit. There are certain things that I want us to learn. Number one is that when God wants to bless a man, he gives him the spirit of the blessing. The Bible is talking about the giving of spirits here. That fear has a spirit. That love has a spirit dimension. That power has a spirit dimension. That a sound mind has a spirit. In any case, there is a distribution of spirits. But he's only saying among the spirits given, God does not give fear. Listen carefully. So when God wants to cause your mind to be sound, the first thing he does is not to give you an information. There is a spirit dimension. There is a transaction that must happen in the realm of the spirit. And then it will manifest as a sound mind. Listen very carefully. If fear comes to you, it does not come as a psychological reality. The spirit is sent. Listen carefully. When that spirit gets a hold of you, it will now take advantage of your faculties of expression and you begin to react to what you may think is psychological called fear. Very powerful. So the Bible here is saying God had not given the spirit of fear. All spirits are given and all spirits are received. That God can give something so if fear is at work in a man it means that somehow you received it are we together now whether you are aware or not the bible anything given has to be received to find expression as many as received him you shall receive power so the bible is saying god had not given us the spirit of fear this is a very powerful revelation whatever you have not gotten the spirit of you have not gotten that reality so if the spirit of revelation is not upon you you cannot have revelation no matter how you read the spirit is what empowers you that means god starts to lift people by introducing them to the spirit component of everything that he wants to bring them into that every physical dimension here has a matching spiritual dimension and that god will grant you access listen carefully to the spirit dimension of that reality and then sooner or later you will begin to walk in that reality so death is a spirit and before a physical death happens there is a proposition in the realm of the spirit and somehow if for any reason you receive that spirit then what you have received will begin to manifest life is also a spirit that it is possible that you can receive it and no matter what the barrier is the reality of it will come upon you listen the characteristics of spirits is that they use bodies and they use minds for expression when a spirit is around you upon you or within you it will begin to alter you to reflect it look at how god addresses fear that because of how dangerous and serious this operation is that there is a tripartite combination of power of love and of a sound mind this is what will totally conquer fear in a man's life that means there is a relationship between weakness and fear yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear not that means that is what is supposed to happen 
that every time you are surrounded by uncertainty the valley of the shadow not the spirit the shadow the similitude of death meaning that whatever looks like death can cause fear no matter how real or aberrated it is the valley of the shadow of death it causes fear but it says i will fear no evil there is a reason for thou art with me i have an understanding of what your presence and your love can do listen very carefully courage is not the issue of masculinity it is a product of understanding certain things about god that the spirit of power is given to men so that they can conquer fear the information that you hear does something to you and if you do not have the power to resist it it will cause fear and when fear enters you it will destroy everything about your life that means the awareness of lack of power will keep you in fear forever the awareness that the believer can sustain power over and against the works of darkness can annihilate and destroy fear listen listen to me fear has destroyed more people than you can imagine when men say that there is a casting down you that means you are not a man you are a man who but something has lifted you beyond the realm of men when men shall say there is a casting down that you will say there is a lifting up is it not in your bible that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side listen to me very carefully it says but none shall hurt you only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked this is the revelation over my life i believe in the love of god over this ministry you see when you know god it doesn't look fair when god's love zooms towards you it's a fearful thing it takes away fear from your life the fear of the future what will the future be like what will the future be like will i have children will they be well behaved your brain cannot carry that kind of load it says my yoke is easy fear can make you a laborer it can give you assignments that didn't come from god by yourself you are sitting in front of the internet many things to browse the presence of god you just start browsing signs of cancer enter what do you think made you do that now please listen to what i'm telling you and if you will find something there that you may have once your leg starts paining you ha, say sign that this and that you say ah that pain jesus you love me too much oh. too much oh. too much oh. excess love oh. it's a revelation my father loves me too much oh. Hi, I believe you are blessed with this powerful message which you have just heard from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. And I believe it is to also share this message to your lovers, to family, schoolmates, roommates, classmates, anyone close to you. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to get every of our daily updates. God bless you as a